Hey guys, what's up? So today's video I wanted to do a current favourites. Um, this isn't a monthly favourites because um, it's not the end of any month and I think it would just be pointless to film a monthly favourites because I don't keep up with that. So, and you guys know that I'm probably not going to be able to keep up with it. So I'm going to just do a current favourites. I'm going to go through every single kind of product you would use and tell you what my favourite products are. So yeah, also there will be a tutorial video coming for this makeup look. So yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in like two seconds. Alrighty, so I'm going to start off with primer. Um, this isn't probably technically isn't really a favourite because I only have one primer, but it's the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. I do really like it. The packaging is adorable, super bright and cute. Um, the reason why I like this is because it's a pore erasing primer and um, I have fairly large pores, but um, and it works really well at like not like filling them in, but you know, like making it look like I don't have large pores when I put on makeup. I also really like it because it's cheap and it's good packaging, so yeah, it's pretty boring. I can't really compare it to anything because I don't have anything else, but from what I know, this is a really cute primer. Foundation. I have a lot of foundations and I like all of them, so this is really hard for me to choose. I think I would have to say that my favorite foundation is probably my MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation. I'm in the shade NC15. And the reason why this is my favorite foundation is because every time I put it on, it just looks so flawless. It looks, I just waked myself in the face. It looks so flawless, like not cakey, but it's like really good coverage. And you get a lot in here. That's not wasteful. Foundations like this with the pump, I feel like I'm wasting product. So this is definitely my favorite foundation. It was one of the most expensive. This was 17 New Zealand dollars. I know you guys are like, what? That's so expensive. I know, but I really like it and I think it's really good. So yeah. That is my favorite foundation. I don't really have much to say about it because it's just foundation. Powder is pretty boring, but I'm gonna give that to my Rimmel Stay Matte. As you can see, it's like hip pan. This is in the shade Transparent <laughs> because we all know Melissa is almost transparent. Nah, I just like transparent powders because I powder powders because my foundations match me really well and I don't want them to get changed by a powder that's not translucent. Um, yeah, I think this is really bomb and it's really cheap and it does the job and it lasts all day. So yeah, it's really good. I find face products really boring, that's why I'm kind of whizzing through these. <laughs> bronzers. Holy, I only have two bronzers, and I only like one of them, really. <coughs> so obviously going to go into my NARS Laguna bronzer. This is, um, obvious, I was about to say this is in the shade Laguna, obviously. Just looks like this. As you can see, I've hit pan. It was so sad when I hit pan. I was like, oh my god, my $70 bronzer. Because this is $70 in New Zealand, but it's an amazing bronzer. It works so well on fair skin. It works so well on tan skin. I've used this on my friends because I did my best friend's makeup for the formal, for her formal and I used this bronzer on her and it looked really nice. So yeah, it's a great bronzer for all skin tones and she's, um, she's Fiji and Indian so she's got really dark skin so, um, and it still looks lovely on her. So no matter what your skin tone, it should, unless you're quite, quite dark, then it, um, then it might not show up because it's not a super dark shade. But if you're fair or if you're quite tan, it works really well. So yeah, that's that one. Blush. This is really difficult because I love a lot of blushes. Um, I would have to say, oh gosh, I don't know. I'm going to say three because I'm a hoarder. I'm going to say these three. Starting off with my MAC blush. This is a limited edition blush, so I don't think, I don't know if you can still get it. If you can, you should. This is from the Vibe Tribes collection and it's in the shade Adobe Brick. And it's just a bright, bright red colour. I know what you're thinking, Melissa, when are you going to wear this? <laughs> I've actually worn this a few times. And if you apply it lightly, it can look so gorgeous on fair skin. This would also look gorgeous on dark skin. This look, I, I used this blush on my um on my best friend that I did her makeup for the formal. And she looked gorgeous because I did this eye makeup look on her. Um, and it looked flawless on her. So, yeah, it's a really nice shade. But I mean, it is limited edition, but it is like a red. I'm, I've seen colours like this before, so I'm sure you can find something similar. Um, yeah, but it is a really gorgeous colour, and that's definitely one of my favourites right now. My um, Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. This is just a favourite of all people. It's just a really nice luminous blush. It looks really pretty with a dramatic makeup look because it's such a nice, like, peachy colour. It's just really, really gorgeous. So... And it's so luminous and creamy and it blends out really nicely. So yeah, it's just you've heard this about this blush before. I won't go into too much detail. Next, my current favourite and my newest favourite is the NYX Powder Blush in Angel. 
this is such a gorgeous peachy color i'm wearing this one today and oh my god you can't even see it it's so natural i don't even know if you'll be able to see it's that one there but it's just like a nice naturally peachy color oh my god it looks so good and it's matte so it looks so good on your skin on your skin tone it looks good with any makeup look and i really really like it so that's my current favorite and it's really cheap so win-win um setting spray i only have one but i really like it and it's the um it's actually almost empty it is the next dewy finish setting spray it just helps settle down all those powders on your face and it looks really good and it feels really nice when you spray it on. It definitely doesn't make my makeup last any longer, but it just helps settle the powders down, which is what I like about it. So, brows. Now, recently I've actually been really enjoying putting on powder in my brows. Now, you guys know that I used to, well, you guys might not know, but I used to use the Anastasia Dip Brow every day. I used to love that stuff for my brows. And recently I just haven't been liking it that much. I'm not a fan of brow pencils. But powder I've been really liking, and what I've been filling in my brows with lately has been the Sleek Eyeshadow Palette. This is an oh so special. These are really cheap, and I just use this shade here to fill in my brows because it's a really nice cool tone brown because I have really ashy cool tone here, so it works really well for me. And um, yeah, I just think powder just looks so like nice, and it makes your brows look so full and fluffy, and I just really, really like powder lately. I'm going to say my Stila Palette. For eyeshadow, I've been loving this palette here. I'm gonna show you the setup. So there's the mirror, there's you guys, and there's the stack of DVDs that you're on. <laughs> um, that's my current filming setup. But this has been my favorite palette just because look at the colors. It's got everything you could possibly need in it. It's got a matte taupe transition shade, it's got a matte warm trans transition shade, it's got a matte dark brown color for your crease, it's got a matte base color, and it's got a matte black. And then it's got every shimmer shade you could possibly need. It's got like a, a gold, it's got like a taupe, it's got kitten, because Stella Kitten is phenomenal. It's got a gorgeous deep brown, it's got a gorgeous like, I don't even know how to describe that shade, but it's really pretty. You guys probably can't even see it, it's that one there. And um, then it's got this colour, which is also really pretty. So, and it all goes, and it's got a grey as well, so it's perfect. It's got everything you could ever need, and this is the Eyes of the Window Shadow Palette in Soul. I love it. I think it's great. Pigmentation's great. Price point, not so great, but I mean, eyeshadow palettes I don't mind spending a bit of money on because you get so much and they last so long. So yeah, I love that palette. Eyeliner, I've been loving, 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 loving the Max Factor Color Expert Waterproof Eyeliner. This is in the black one. Deep Black 01. It's one of the brush tip ones you pull out of your um the pot, the little pot, and it's just a brush. But it's not like an actual brush, it's like a foamy brush. So it's like really, really easy to use and it's black and it's waterproof, it lasts all day. And it's not super hard to get off. So yeah, I really like this eyeliner. It's bomb. Mascara, I've been loving the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. But I'm to be honest, I'm not that fussy. I could use any mascara and I'll be fine. Like mascara, I don't really care. Like I can use any of it, so. But this is the one I'm using right now and I really like it, so I'm going to say that. For Lippy, my favourite lipstick right now, my lip, favourite lip combo is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And it is Max Saw Lip Liner. This is in the shade Saw. And it's just like my natural lip colour, like it's very similar to my natural lip colour. Um, it's like a My Lips For Better colour, but I've been loving mixing that on top of my favourite lipstick, which is the Maybelline Creamy Lipstick in... Daringly nude and it's just a pinky nude colour and it looks so good mixed with that lip liner. It's been my everyday lip colour recently and I just really really enjoy it so if you can get your hands on this do it. It's such good formula and it's so nice but I've got some other favourites that I'm going to talk about as well because lip products I mean I have been loving the Colourpop liquid lipsticks. Um, the three shades that I've been loving are um the shade Cheap Thrills, which is like a purple colour. This colour is bomb. It looks so cool on... I should have worn it for this video, but it looks so cool. It's like a... I'll swatch it. I can't even describe this colour. It's that one there. It looks so cool on your lips. I've also been loving Rooch, which is a limited edition a colour, I believe. But it's just such a cool, like, burgundy red. So that's Rooch there. And I've also been loving Guess, which is like a dark purple. It's just that one there. 
just like I've just been loving dark lip colors lately I don't know why I mean this video obviously doesn't tell you that I've been loving dark lip colors but I have I have so many lip products in this video another one is the Maybelline color drama these are the lip pencils the color drama intense velvet lip pencil and this is in the shade in with coral and I love this pencil look at that color I'll do a better swatch can you go oh my god it's such a pretty color and this smells really good it smells like um it smells like Jolly Ranchers smells so good but um did I just indent it I did oh I did again but um I've been loving that by itself because it's so velvet and creamy and pigmented what else have I been loving I've been loving my NYX soft matte lip cream in Antwerp as well it's a very similar shade to that coral one actually it's a little bit more red but yeah I love that as well I love the soft matte lip creams they're so good do I have any more I can cram in here no I think we're good yeah we're good for lip products so yeah that's kind of everything this video is like oh I've also been loving um this is like should be in the brows department but I forgot about it the L'Oreal um brow artist plumper I've also been really liking this this is in the shade medium dark I don't have it on today because I forgot to put it on but it's just got a really small brush so it's really really easy to like put on and it lasts all day and it holds your brows in place and it makes them look thicker which is always a bonus so yeah, now I've got swatches all over my hands, but that's okay. That's my f current favourite video. I know I kind of like rushed this video. I feel like I talk really fast, but you know what? We can move on. I just got the... Oh, I just dipped my finger on the swatch. R.I.P. Great. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am so excited to be back and filming videos again. And But um, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Um... Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below and tell me what your current favourites are. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. There'll be a tutorial for this coming very shortly. So yeah.